working for today's special art talk happening here in Malibu, California. Good morning to everyone. Uh, if you have not been to Art Talk before, welcome. Uh, I'll get the ball rolling here. You can see my diecast collection or what's left of it because most of it is at the Murphy Museum right now. Uh, uh, we're, we're, doing, we're doing more. We're doing more stuff there. Uh, what's up, Tim McDougall? Uh, good to see you, man. Hope you guys are uh, making use of this this uh, so-called downtime. I know Geldman is. Geldman's building everything in the and the kitchen sink too, I think. Uh, I like your stuff, Steve-O, uh, that you're posting. You're right. It's not about uh, the things that you can do. It's about what uh, inspiring other people to do stuff. Uh, Joseph, good to see you, Joseph. I like the uh, the truck you sent me, the 3100. That was very cool. We built one of those for uh, Auto Trader Classics many years ago. Great truck. Bruce Lemaire, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Salvatore Carbone, I love that name. Uh, Monique, good to see you. Uh, this is Art Talk. I am Fireball. Welcome. Yeah, we do Art Talk every uh, Monday now. Uh, nothing would give me more pleasure, more, more absolutely more pleasure, than to give you guys an Art Talk every single day and a vlog every single day. Uh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to uh, to do a lot of things. I'm also running a business and 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 trying to create shows and things for you guys. But I want to give you guys a heads up on some of the things that are coming. But today's subject for our talk uh, is um, uh, combating laziness with massive action. Uh, once again, on the surface level, nobody wants to be lazy. You know that being lazy uh, doesn't necessarily get you what you want. And you know that taking action on it does, like moving the light a little bit so that you, you're not blinding yeah, it's the reflection in the glasses that creates the problem. Uh, so, uh, but we're gonna we're gonna start as we do up here. Uh, we're gonna end up down here, uh, trying to incorporate some wisdom, some uh, some self awareness, so we can get the ball rolling today and this week and be uh, custodians of cool and create some badassery and all the great terms that we use here on our talk. Um, vlog number nine hundred and eighty eight. Mike Spagnola, what's up, Mike? From SEMA, the master of SEMA, those little magic SEMA fingers. Looking forward. I've been posting some SEMA stuff and uh, this SEMA pass. I've been to it for so many years that I, I kind of lost count. Uh, amazing show. I hope you guys are are kind of getting the, you know, uh, uh, doing what you can. You got to do what you can. Uh, it's, um, it's not about uh, the limited things we're not allowed to do. It's about uh, looking at what we can do and making that that stuff happen. Rick, uh, what's up? Good to see you. Uh, vlog number 988 uh, just went up this morning. It is on the 2020 Chevy Silverado Double Custom Trail Boss. Why can't they just give it a, a, one name? One name. There's another bug crawling on my... See? There's a little... Look at that little guy. Yeah. Yeah. Just coming to visit. Yep. Okay, I live in a zoo. Off with you. There you go. <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, Blado, thanks for watching. William, good to see you. So uh, the the thing, if you guys have been watching the vlog, 988 episodes, you know, we're not a review channel. Uh, you can you can type in Silverado and get, you know, millions of reviews on the truck to determine whether you want to buy it or not. Uh, we're trying to create an emotional attachments. You know, if you have this truck... What, what, what kind of experience would you have? And that's that's what we try to achieve on the vlog with some emotional strength using music and a variety of things. And, and uh, showing you a slice of life uh, that, you know, that we all share. You know, we all have, we all buy this truck. It's, you can watch a review of the truck and determine whether you want to buy it or not. And that's good. And based on the horsepower and the, the knickknacks that all comes with. Or you can uh, you can watch something that that emotionally will connect with you and say, look, if I had this truck, what kind of, what would my life be like? And that's what we want to connect with. So that you know it's it's you 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 feel good about making purchases and that they're going to enhance and expand your life somehow. That's what art talk is. That's what we're trying to do here, is to help you guys give you tips, tools, and tricks to expand your lives and in creative and, and prosperous ways. Uh, the the Camaro book uh, just came out. We're very excited about that. It came out on the 1st of Ju July, and I finally just got it. It just showed up. Uh, it's it's very shiny. <laughs> very shiny. Uh, it is backwards. Your edition won't be, as you can see. 
This is where we get shit done. But if that was backwards, you wouldn't get my point. So the way this is shot is everything else is backwards, including my face is backwards. I don't know what that means. But when you see me, I'm a reversed version of this. See how my glasses kind of tilt up on this side? If you see me, they'll be tilting up on that side. Yeah, that's kind of how it works. Ivan, good to see you. So this new Camaro book uh, shares uh, in our line of other books. Very excited about that. We have two more books that are on deck right now. But if we open up Camaros, whoop. We check out, I'm not going to show you that one. I'll leave that one as a surprise. Uh, let's, this is the Thug. Yep. That's a 1970 that, uh, no, sorry, 73 that my, my brother had. It didn't quite look like that. It was a little more tame version, but it was kind of badass. We drove that thing in high school. How about a Camaro in the future that is a brand new Camaro, 2020, brand new Camaro, but it's a barn find. Yep. In a futuristic surroundings. Yep. That's the place I want to be. What is the best for coloring your books. Uh, I would say the, the best tool as an adult is color pencil. Uh, Prismacolors or Verithens, those are really good. You don't want to use markers because the markers are going to go bleed through the page and crayons have a big thick uh, tip. And that's what, um, uh oh, hold on a second. Mm, okay, good. I just got a, a text from uh, from uh, Jeep, they're delivering a car today. So they're taking the Silverado away today uh, that we had in the blog, and we're del they're delivering the Jeep Renegade. So that's what's the, gonna be the car for this week. Anyway, so I, I think that the best, uh, the best tool, uh, the thing about Prismacolors is that it's a waxy pencil, is you can get kind of thick and solid, and Verithins are more about tonality. So I, I like the Verithins. Uh, because you can blend them really well, you can erase with them, but the Prismacolors you cannot erase. So the moment you put it down, it's kind of like a crayon, it goes down, it stays down. So uh, experiment with both of those. That's that's what I would recommend. Uh, that's what I've used for many years, but very excited about the, the Camaro book. Uh, and then on deck, on deck, here it comes, here it comes people. Look at this cute little picture of my buddy Tony. This is Tony Dow, uh, who played Wally on Leave it to Beaver. And uh, that's the next book. It comes out August 1st, the official Tony Dow coloring book. Super excited about that. And this is, uh, this might be in the book. I don't know. This kind of, the Dow special. He was into go-karts. He in, he's into cars. His, uh, his, his Corvair will be on the cover, which I'm uh, very excited about doing. And uh, Tony is also a waterman, so he loved the ocean. He grew up in Catalina. And, uh, and uh, we put a, uh, a really great concept together. I think that's going to be a spectacular book. And then we're also working on Hot Rods, which will come uh, after that. Actually, working on a turtle book. There's all, there's all kinds of uh, knick-knacky non nonsense happening here. Uh, but also, we have a book that actually just launched, but we didn't say anything about it. We've done a Malibu coloring book. Uh, but uh, I just found out from my friend Paul Grisanti, he's going to be running for city council, ultimately for mayor. And we're going to support him. So we created a new uh, limited edition sunset cover of the Malibu coloring book. So if you go on to Amazon and you type in Malibu coloring book, you're going to see the sunset cover and it has Paul Grisanti's logo on there. Uh, not only that, but Paul uh, uh, is, uh, he wanted you guys for Wheels and Waves, the first 65 people to come to Wheels and Waves on July 19th is going to get a free Malibu coloring book as well as Hot Wheels. So if you come to Wilson Waves on July 19th, it's a Sunday in the morning, if you're the first of 65, the first 65 cars come in, you're going to get a special limited edition Malibu coloring book, uh, the Sunset Edition. Very cool. Very excited about that. So that, that's what's coming. And then, uh, and then we're in talks with uh, several other large companies, which I cannot mention uh, as to uh, that, are, that want custom coloring books. I, I just think it's going to take off like crazy. It kind of already is. Uh, because uh, it's really about what I'm talking about today, Michael Malia, uh, hi mate, uh, Nigel Brunt, is um, combating laziness with action, massive action. I don't even know what laziness is. I guess laziness can be like, you know, you eat a, a piece of chocolate and you're in such absolute bliss that you don't want to stand up. That could be laziness, but not for me. Not for me. Laziness is that, that's that's a four-letter word. For me, massive action, uh, I try to... Uh, to understand this and convey this to you guys, there is a, a secret behind massive action. And we're going to get into that today. Hold on. Thing to write in the hole. Okay, let's get into that uh, today. We talk a lot on Art Talk about thoughts, words, and actions. And why? 
because it's the only things that we can control. The only thing we can control is what we think about, although many of us don't, try, right? Don't control that. We just kind of randomly think stuff. Uh, uh, many of us say shit that we shouldn't say. We get online and we, we, uh, we, you know, type what we're saying. And, you know, we criticize other people. Uh, we see a lot of criticism out there, you know, of everybody from, um, well, pretty much every color at this point. Every, every skin color is getting criticized for, for one reason or another. If your skin was blue, like the movie Avatar, you'd get criticized for, you know, having war paint on your face. Whatever. You know, this is the mentality of the world right now. And as a result of that criticism, there's all kinds of, you know, people uh, doing dumb things and making poor choices. You know, uh, Gopal, city council, mayor, very cool. We're all behind you. Yes, you are, Mr. Gelbin. And he will be at Wilson Waves. And we want to support him because we need Paul as mayor of Malibu because he would be badass. He would be just, I'm talking root beer and the drinking fountains, people. It's actually going to happen with Paul. Yeah, very excited about that. No, that's... That's a joke. There's no root beer. There's no drinking fountains. Is there drinking? Does, does that even exist anymore? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's talk about massive action. Loretta Smith. Hi, sweetie. Good to see you. So thoughts, words, and actions. Um, since these are the only things that we can control, then uh, let's start with the beginning. That's not one of our thoughts in relation to massive action. Now, many people get stuck. Uh, some people call it writer's block because I can't, I can't take an action because I have writer's block right? Many people say that. Writers say that. Now, the, the secret hidden within uh, that, that ideology is that when you say, I have writer's block, you're saying, I am blocked. And as a result of saying, I am blocked repeatedly, you block yourself. You cause the thing that you fear that you're experiencing to perpetuate, to happen more. Uh, when you say, I am tired, I am tired. I'm just tired all the time, tired all the time, tired all the time. You keep repeating that same thing. You stay tired all the time. So you have to, you have to replace those thoughts with what it is that you want, with your destination, right? Uh, if, you, if you're having trouble taking massive action, then the secret hidden within that is to stop saying anything that's causing you to be blocked and to start repeating what you want. Right? Just put, put out there what it is that you want because most people don't do that. They just, they just acknowledge what they see. My bank account is empty or this person next door is an asshole or, you know, they just respond to what they see. People on television fighting each other. The world is coming to a hell in a handbasket. That's what we keep per perpetuating, keep repeating. Instead of focusing on what you want, Gary Wales, uh, a gentleman that does get what he wants. Why, Gary, let me ask you a question. Why is it that you always get what you want? Is it because you got a buttload of cash? No, because there was a time where you didn't have that. Uh, the reason that people like Gary, pe people like Elon Musk, people like um, uh, successful people, in whatever respect that you want to be successful, get what they want, is because they understand the power behind thoughts, words, and actions, and to stay focused. And to that massive action, I'm not talking about taking an action. Just go out there and do one thing, you know. You do one thing, you're going to get a little bit, you know, maybe, maybe. You do a lot of things, you're going to get a lot of stuff. You go out there and you go all hog wild and you go crazy and you work on your car. Let's say you're working on a, a project car and you go out there and you put in some serious hours, like you start at 6 a.m. and you wrap up at 10, 11, midnight. Uh, as a result of that, those actions, you're going to get an abundance, an abundance of results amazing amount of results. So it's important to understand this. So what we're talking about uh, thoughts as they pertain to, to massive action is don't get in the way of yourself. There's nobody stopping you from the things that you want. There's no condition stopping you. I don't care if the, the coronavirus is out there. I don't give a shit about that. You know, it's, yeah, it's sad that people get sick and people die. That's true. But in my world, I don't care, I don't care that that's happening. I don't care that that wars are happening in, in Swahiliville or some country that I don't go to. I don't care that people are on Facebook screaming at each other and yelling. I don't care about that stuff. What I care about is going in the direction where I want to go, where how I want to expand and enhance my personal life and how I want to be able to, in as best way I can, 
in any way that I can, hopefully inspire you guys to do the same, okay? So thoughts as it pertains to massive action is you can't get in the way by using thoughts that betray you, by identifying all the problems, all the hurdles, all the difficulties. You have to concentrate your thoughts on the solutions. You have to tell yourself there is a way and it will be revealed to me over and over, okay? It's about repetition, okay? So the second thing are words is we have to use words that empower us, right? You say to a little kid, hey, you're doing a really great job. What does he feel? He feels good about himself and he wants to continue to do more. You say to the same little kid, you, you suck and you should really pack it in. Then they feel bad about themselves and they don't want to do it anymore. That's the example, okay? It doesn't have to be a little kid, okay? If you get online on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever social media you like, you get online and you say, wow, you, you, you're doing a great job. Wow, that looks really good. Wow, you should be proud of yourself. If you post things to encourage and empower, imagine if everybody started doing that, what would the world become? How would the world evolve? You know, many of you don't like our politicians, everything else, but if you tried to find a way to point out something that they did that was good, even though you don't like them, something, Imagine the change, the shift that might happen through that power, the power of everyone doing that kind of thing. It's up to you. It's up to you. I'm not, I'm not talking about that, that you have the ability to change our government or change our, you know, the uh, put root beer in the drinking fountains, you know, whatever it is. Uh, you do have the power to change your own life through your thoughts and your words. Now, your words, as they pertain to massive action, you say, you know, uh, you don't say, I, I don't know what to do. Many people say, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know. I, I can't think of anything, right? These things don't empower us. What does empower us is, that, is saying is I will know what to do. Something will reveal itself to me and be patient. Ex express patience. Express focus. Say when it comes, oh yeah, when it shows up, I'm going to go, I'm going to go full on beast mode on this thing. Uh, Duke says, hey, Fireball, uh, Martin, Tennessee, late again. Oh, Ah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Watch the beginning. So what? No problem. You know, I appreciate, Duke, that you uh, you come and hang out with us from Martin, Tennessee. Never been there. I bet it's beautiful. Uh, looking forward to someday heading out there. <laughs> you never know. Rick Calver says, uh, you, oh, well, I appreciate that, Rick. Uh, empower yourselves. All I'm doing is expressing an ideology, uh, and that can be easy. The hard part is you guys getting off your asses and going do the thing consistently every day. So today we're talking about uh, a massive action as it pertains to thoughts, words, and uh, and actions as is the only things that we can control. So action as it pertains to massive action. Here's, here's an example. Uh, I want, uh, I want the place that I live in to be beautiful, right? Nice house, nice house, beautiful, uh, um, clean, all this kind of stuff. Uh, so I'm going to go take out the trash. I'm going to go take out the trash. And that's what I'm going to do today. Yep. And I may be proud of myself. I took out the trash. I walked it all the way downstairs. I opened up the lid. I dumped it in. I did all these things. Well, that's a lot of action. And now I'm going to go and I'm going to go lay down because that was, that was tough. That was tough. That's not massive action. That's one thing. Okay? Um, the way that I do it is that when I determine something that I want to achieve is I create a plan. Now, the books are a good example, a Camaro book as an example. There's 20 pages uh, in this book of different illustrations, right? Now, it starts out with a, a clean piece of paper and I do a blue line sketch, kind of like one I did for Tony. <laughs> Not supposed to see that. Pretend that you didn't see that. Uh, so, blue line sketch kind of gets the idea out and I do all the blue line sketches, right? And I get them all done, right? And then I go to the black line sketches and I do, I do that. I do maybe one a day, uh, two a day if I'm feeling really uh, vigorous. You know, they take some time uh, to be able to get them done. So I create a plan over the month prior. Now, you can do the same thing, is that uh, you can make a list of all the things that need to get done in the house, make a big master list, and then put them all in order as to what you'd like to do first, and then get busy doing the first one and cover the rest of the list. And don't worry about it. Just, just take heavy action on that one thing. You want to rebuild a wall. You want to uh, uh, put down, lay down a patio. Uh, you want to clean out your garage. I don't care what it is. Um, 
you know, uh, you're sick and tired of wearing your same old clothes, you want some new stuff, then start by buying a t-shirt, you know, uh, but do something every day. Uh, do a series of things every day. Massive action is not about the actual action of you doing the thing. Massive action is about staying focused mentally. Jacqueline Sears, you know what I'm talking about, uh, Ev Hanmore. Is it Ev or Eve? No, it's Ev. Very nice, as in maybe Evan. Looks like a green, um, can't tell. Tiny little, I should make the icons bigger. My eyes are not this big. Uh, hello, they're a little bit bigger than that. Who else we got? Uh, Michael, good to see you. Australia. Uh, Brian Jeffries, very cool. Duke, cool. Rick, I missed I missed a couple of people. Uh, there's Gary. Dan Jewell, All right, people. Uh, so, you know, the, the, the thing about being in action, sure, the action itself is valuable. It's important that you you get things done, that, that's important. But what's more important than that is the vibrational power of your mind while you're in those actions. That creative process is, is the true power behind that, not the action itself. So it's just as powerful. Uh, wanting to do the, the act is just as powerful as actually doing the act. Doing the act is, I mean, things have to come together in order for you actually to take action on stuff. But it's the mental process is what we're talking about, is that we want to expand and enhance our self-awareness. Self-awareness is where it's at. This is, this is the true power behind all things, okay? So a focused attention on, on the thing that we want to get done, focusing your attention on like, I want to do this, this thing, is a very powerful uh, notion, very powerful um, uh thing to process. Uh, it guarantees results. It, it's, it puts you in creative flow, right? So the moment you determine this is what I want, and if you, let's, say you, let's say you don't know what you want. You're not sure what you want. You can still put yourself in, in that mode by saying, I want revealed to me something unique that I can do. You know, I, if I, I, you know, you're not sure what to, what creative process you, you know, what project you want to start, what car you want to start, whatever, whatever it is you want to do. You can ask for that. You can ask for clarity. It's good to see others from down under. Yes, Joseph, uh, Australia is a big country. You guys should hook up. You don't have to drive like three, 4,000 miles just to have coffee. <laughs> uh, what else? Um, I said this on the vlog uh, today, if you watch today's vlog, is, you know, what Buddha said, remember to remember. And that's, that's a very important um, uh, ideology because remembering to remember simply means that uh, if if I can use self-awareness in my back of my thinking, of my speak, and of my actions, then I am guaranteed successful results no matter what, is I will always get what I want. And if if you can do that, which you can, and achieve success today, imagine what the world would be like if we all knew that. So it's important that you guys, I appreciate you guys come and hang out with me here on our talk, but it's, it's important that you guys get out there and not only do this for yourselves, but share this notion on, on your, your places. And in in, if you got 10 people on your Facebook page that follow you, you can share this idea. You can share it by, you know, sharing the art talk. Sure, that's great. But it's important for you guys to be able to get out there and to teach this to other people, or not necessarily teach it, but to make help people become aware of their own power. This is the power that the church didn't want you. This, you know, this is what the Knights Templar talked about. This is what the Masons talk about. This is what this is it. This is it, people. Your, your the power of choice, your ability to choose wisely. And and Jesus taught this throughout, throughout the Bible. That's that's what all this is. You know, turning the other cheek is is not. Sure, the physical part of turning your cheek away and not looking at the problem. Sure, you know, uh, if you get into a confrontation, um, uh, sometimes, you know, I'm sure Jesus got into fistfights. You know, I'm sure he got into barroom brawls. Maybe there's a movie there, you know. Uh, you know, Jesus goes into a bar. That's a joke. That's a joke. I don't know what the punchline is, but there's a joke in there. What happens when Jesus walks into a bar? Somebody come up with a punchline, okay? I always remember the 5th of November. Um... 5th of November. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Let me know. Uh, you're right. I broke my neck in 2001, says Duke. 
was told I would never walk again, uh, lace up my butt, and yeah, bust my ass every day. Many people share that uh, that journey, Duke. Many people share that journey that uh, uh, people go into hospital and they say, um, uh, I'm going to be out by Christmas. You know, my, my spine is severed, but I'm going to be out by Christmas. You know, there's many people that have, have been faced with absolutely uh, uh, indescribable conditions and have overcome. And they didn't overcome because uh, they um, had enough money. They didn't overcome because they, uh, you know, they just, they just wanted it. They wanted it bad, bad enough to do whatever it takes to have it, right? And that's how success comes, is that, is that, that you'll be successful when you believe that you're a success from day one. It's as simple as that, okay? All right, so that's what I want you guys to kind of concentrate on uh, this week. Get out there. Remember to remember, bring yourself back to self-awareness is that if I think these thoughts, what's the result of these thoughts? If I, if I speak these words to this asshole, you know, what's going to be, be the result? You know, you know how it works. It's like someone pulls out a toothpick and you go like, ah, oh, and you pull out a Q-tip and then they pull out a, um, a, um, a toothbrush and then you pull out a hammer and then you pull out a knife, and then you pull out a gun, and then they pull out a bazooka, and you pull out a nuclear bomb, and then boom, you're off and running. That's, that's just kind of how it works, right? Our whole society is based on revenge. Just go see any movie. Any movie is based in revenge. Uh, if you're told you can't, that's when you prove you can. That's right, Duke. That's exactly, it's an important attitude to have. It's just that not everybody has that attitude, and your job, buddy, is to get that idea out there into the world. Help people to achieve success, okay? Well, and success isn't necessarily monetarily, although money helps to get things done, uh, but success can be um, a really great uh, uh, dinner. Dinner you put together for tonight. Kathy made an amazing dinner last night uh, that was um, a, a Thai dish. She'd never made it before, ever. And it was a mixture of, of lemon and soy sauce and, and uh, agave nectar and maple syrup and, and ugh, broccoli. The whole, it was, it was freaking awesome. Uh, it's a line out of the movie called V for Vendetta. Oh, yeah, that's a great movie. That's a great movie. Uh, absolutely, I recommend that. Uh, the Wachowskis did that, I think. The guys that did Matrix did uh, V for Vendetta. Uh, okay, Wheels and Waves is July 19th, as I mentioned, Sunday. And the first 65 cars are going to get a free Sunset Limited Edition Malibu coloring book. I'm very excited about that, as well as a uh, uh, Hot Wheels, as always. Uh, the Murphy Museum may have some good news coming up. May have some good news coming up for July. Uh, not set yet. Uh, there's some uh, obstacles to overcome. We got a lot of things to do uh, because of uh, um, the beer virus, you know, as they call it. Let me close that. Uh, get out there and get a coloring book for your friends or your family or anybody else. Lots of different coloring books uh, put you in a state of joy and bliss. Um, Corvette right there. Mustang. Custom cars. Where's the Mustang? There it is. Uh, you know, have some fun. Have some guy, fun, guys, this week. Um, get out there. Do what you can. Big thanks to everyone uh, who watched today. This is Art Talk. I am Fireball Tim, and I'm signing off. We'll see you guys online. Bye-bye.